this Sunday night baseball. You always want to know how the park you're playing in plays. What does it do to the baseball? How does baseball happen in here, Mike Petriola? It is unsurprisingly a pretty good hitter's park. The way to read these numbers would be that 100 is league average. So you can see it's really good for doubles, right? It's above average for home runs, about average for strikeouts. Now there's another number you can look at too, is how well does the ball carry here? This ballpark adds about five extra feet of carry on the balls that matter. You know, it's nice and humid, it's hot. This is a good hitter's park. I think you're gonna see it tonight. Yeah, and if you look what this ballpark does, especially when it opened, because a lot of the buildings were still not up. It used to fly to right center field. It's changed a little bit. It's played a little truer, almost like the name of the ballpark, Truest Park. As gap to gap, the ball will travel well. And we'll see what Philadelphia has in store after last night's harrowing 12 inning ball game. Uh, this is a very quick lineup. What stands what out to you, Eduardo, that? about Philadelphia? They need to get on base to use that that speed. Jun Segura has now leapfrog into the two spot because of his ability of getting on base. I think it's going to create more traffic on there for Bryce Harper and JT Realmuto to be able to drive them in. But JT Realmuto's sprint speed, second best on this team as a catcher, has to stand out. It's no secret that when a ground ball is hit, you better rush because he can beat it out. Atlanta's lineup for Brian Snicker. You see Acuna Jr. at the top. They have Pache in the eighth spot ahead of the pitcher, Enoa. So there's some speed here as well for Atlanta, Mike. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on Freddie Freeman tonight. Last year, probably over the last two years, I would say he was the single best fastball hitter in the entire major leagues. And so far this year, he's only got nine hits, six of them are singles, 153 average. I don't have a good reason for that, but I'm really interested to see if Nola attacks him in that way. Freddie Freeman's not a guy who's run into very much in the way of slumps in his career, but the other day on Thursday, he was on the bench after a talk with Brian Snicker, and we'll see if he can get back to his player of the month status at the end of last season. Uh, we got about a minute left here on Sunday Night Baseball, StatCast Baseball tonight. I want to ask both of you, what are your eyes going to be on something specific tonight that you're watching for in our game? We'll start with Eduardo. Well, first, my tie. It's Mother's Day, and I just want to say Feliz Dia de las Madres, Mami, and to my wife, Mirva. So that comes first. I'll tell you this. Analytically speaking, a, th a hundred. A hundred if we're doing ratings right here when it comes to percentile speed and strength. But uh, moving forward with this game, it has to be about Freddie Freeman. It has to be about the, the middle of the lineup. He has to get it going. Yesterday, we saw a home run from him. Can he continue that? Because in order for the Atlanta Braves to do well, he has to be able to slug. I'm mostly interested to see what Ronald Acuna is going to look like. I'm shocked he's in the lineup tonight. I think we all were after what happened last night. So I'm interested to see what that first swing of his looks like. Because if he's not out there at full speed, you know, if he's trying to swing a little more loosely to take some pressure off that finger, it's going to impact the entire rest of that lineup tonight. That was a late lineup put in by Brian Snitker today. The lineup took a while to get out there, so it was about 90 minutes before game time the lineup was finally posted. Acuna is in it. It is the Braves and it's the Phillies and it's coming up. Welcome to Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. Telecast presented by Taco Bell. It is a bottleneck in the National League East. And the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies are big time parts of it right now. It's five teams separated by fewer than four and a half games as we open play from Truist Park with 100% capacity. And the stars are certainly available tonight. Hop on your, uh, your SUV if you care to, your ATV, and take in the ball game. Bryce Harper is in the lineup, and so is Ronald Acuna Jr. These are the odds to win the division. The Nationals down at 4%. The Marlins, according to Fangraphs, are out of it. Phillies and Braves, everybody chasing the Mets. But look, if you play well enough in your division, you can really certainly help yourself. So it's StatCast.
Sunday Night Baseball once again. Jason Benetti, Mike Petriello, Eduardo Perez, and uh, guys, we're always here for you to answer the question, why? Why is everything happening in the ball game? The good news is we have a lot of why to talk about with Ronald Acuna Jr., who will play today, Mike. Yeah, I'm frankly stunned. I think that looked so bad last night. But as soon as this happened, and we were pretty much group texting each other, saying, oh, no, our show, Acuna is gone. Obviously, Braves fans, I think, were thinking the same. He's in the lineup. It came out pretty late, not that long before game time. And he is such a huge factor in this Braves lineup because Freeman's not hitting that well. Ozuna, until recently, hadn't been hitting that well. And you can see here the two big stars tonight. Look what happens in innings where they bat, right? This is team stats when they bat. The OPS is fantastic. You take the average run per inning, you make it over nine. Very good, right? Innings where they don't bat, it's not that great. The OPS drops by about 300 points on both sides. They go from a lineup that's about a seven and a half run lineup to one that's about a two run lineup. So what they need is they need innings where these guys are up and they need these two guys to produce while they're there. Bryce Harper in the lineup tonight for the Philadelphia Phillies as well. He will bat in the first inning. And uh, Eduardo and Mike, you, you have Aaron Nola on the mound for the Philadelphia Phillies. And here's a guy who's changed up his pitch mix somewhat, but one of the aces in the National League East. He really has, and he's been so aggressive on the mound, especially with the number two, the curveball. That's been his bread and butter pitch. He can throw that breaking pitch for a strike 72% of the time, swinging and also for the take. And if you're a hitter, that's where you start falling in between. What do I do? Do I get aggressive with it? The vertical uh, motion on this pitch, is the vertical break has been pretty nasty for him, and he's pretty much let go of that two-seam fastball, gone to the four-seam fastball up in the zone. It's worked for him, and that's why he's been so good. And then on the other hand, Waskar Noah. Look at a guy that's a two-pitch pitcher, fastball slider. The slider, also really good vertical break, different locations. We'll see him tonight, and so far, he's been really good for the Atlanta Braves. ESPN's telecast of Sunday Night Baseball is presented by Taco Bell.